Hey guys, it's Dan, and in this video, I'm going to share with you guys some of the top things I did in Rome, Italy in the three days I was there and give you guys some tips and recommendations on what to do in three days in Rome. First day, I really prioritized all this, um, the major sites and attractions that I really wanted to see. Um, most of them were like really touristy things. But yeah, the first thing that I saw was the Fontana dei Trevi, and I really recommend you guys to see this because it's my favorite place in Rome. Um, it's just this plaza where it's just this big marble white fountain and a bunch of shops, trattorias, restaurants, um, cafes, gelato shops there. And it's just really lively and it's just there's just like a bunch of people lounging, hanging out here, taking pictures. But yeah, I just got gelato and just sat around, hung around there for like an hour. And it was just really fun. So that's what I did. And the second thing that I did was I went to the Colosseum. Um, definitely you gotta see this when you're in Rome, of course, like the Eiffel Tower of Rome. But yeah, it cost around like 15 euros to get in or so. Um, there was a pretty long line to get in, but it was definitely well worth it, in my opinion. Um, pretty, uh, took a lot of cool pictures there. So that's the second thing we did. And then the third thing we did was we went to the Roman Forums and Ruins, which is just this big um, plot or area of land where it's like a bunch of hills and um, broken, like beaten down, ruined Roman uh, ancient architecture. And uh, it was really cool to take pictures of and walk around. Again, really lively area, a lot going on in this area. And um, you could pay a couple years to get in, but we just walked around from the outside because it was free and um, you basically see the same thing. Fourth thing we did was went to the Piazza del Compidoligo. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but um, it's a, uh, and a Capitoline Hill, but they're like this marble staircase and you walk up this big hill to um, this plaza where there's like some statues and it's just really cool, um, cool buildings there. Again, nice in photos and you guys get a really good view of Rome, Italy from here. So that was really cool as well. So on the second day, um, which was my favorite day spent in Rome was we really just lounge, splurge, and really took in the culture and indulge in the slow lifestyle of Rome, Italy, and just stuffed our faces in uh, all the trattorias, um, all the pizza, pasta, wine that we could get our hands on. And uh, yeah, we started in the Piazza Navona, which I recommend you guys visit. It's this um, nice central plaza where there's like three statues or fountains um, in this area lined up and around it are uh, markets with stalls, um, trattorias, restaurants, uh, gelato shops, all of that. And we started here and we just um, threw away our map and just walked around and got lost. Walked around some alleys, corridors, um, bridges, uphills, and it was just really fun um, to just do and get lost. Uh, there were, you won't run out of things to do. Um, we just ran into so many activities and things and we just really enjoyed that day there. And if you guys um, need a, re a recommendation to eat, uh, I recommend the Francesca. My cousin recommended me this place and I tried it and it was really good, but all the food that we tried in Italy was just really delicious. So yeah. Also, um, on this day, we ran to the Pantheon, which was unexpected, but uh, it was um, pretty underwhelming, honestly, in my opinion, but it was free to get in and definitely cool to check out too, if you guys want. So on the third day, uh, we took a bus down to the Vatican City. Technically, this is not part of Rome. It's its own country and province, but for the sake of this video, it's part of Rome. But yeah, we started in the St. Peter's Square. Um, really big area again platform where there's like a bunch of people big statue in the middle and of course in the front of it is the big st peter's basilica and um yeah definitely recommend you guys uh go inside and just explore this beautiful cathedral because i've been to a couple cathedral and basilicas throughout europe but this one is by far my favorite and um I thought it was the biggest and the best one. Uh, there's just so many much detail and art inside this basilica and it was just really nice and overwhelming. And yeah, it was really cool. Definitely you guys recommend you guys stick around for a mass if you guys are able to do that. I think they have mass on Sundays, but yeah. And then after that, we went to the Vatican Museum. I probably saw the longest line I've ever seen in my life. So if you guys could book in advance or go in with the group, 
definitely do that. But uh, we're able to minimize the wait time by by going right when they're about to close. So we only waited for like about an hour or so, which is pretty short considering how long the lines always are. And yeah, but um, this is where the famous Sistine Chapel is and Michelangelo's creation of Adam mural is. And that's what we really want to see. And I feel like that's what everyone wanted to see because I feel like this museum is not really much of a museum, but uh, really a, a showcase for the Sistine Chapel. Cause right when you get in, you just follow this crowd and huge line of people and they're just being directed towards something. And obviously this something is the Sistine Chapel. And yeah, it was the main event, so, but it was definitely um, worth it. And uh, it's just in this big room where it's like a bunch of people, security guards telling you guys to be quiet, not take pictures. Um, but yeah, it was really cool and interesting to see. And outside the museum is uh, the Vatican Garden, which is really cool as well. And yeah, it was just really nice. The Vatican, the whole Vatican City was really beautiful, um, really lively, a bunch of shops, souvenir stores for you guys to get some like religious trinkets and stuff, but definitely a cool experience. So yeah, those are what I did in three days that I spent in Rome, Italy. Um, I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you guys have some tips or recommendations for me. And if you guys want to see more, please subscribe to my channel.